As Global's five-year anniversary rapidly approaches, I want to make sure that all of you guys, my viewers, my subscribers, and my fellow Global players are fully prepared and just fully aware of everything that we're about to get. Alright, so over the course of the next week, week and a half, I'm going to be putting out a series of videos on this channel, either explaining or showcasing all the awesome things that we can expect to see over the course of this massive, most likely three-part celebration. So for the first video today, we're going to start with a topic that is very simple, yet very, very important, and that would be the tickets. And more specifically, what each of these tickets are actually used for, alright? So for this upcoming anniversary, this upcoming celebration, there should be at least four different tickets that everybody needs to pay attention to. And the first one is this fifth anniversary ticket you see on the screen, which we've all pretty much been collecting over the last, you know, three to four weeks through missions, right? And if you're on top of things and you completed all your missions, then you'll have a grand total of 55 tickets by the time the anniversary begins. And once that happens, we'll be able to use these tickets to summon on this five year anniversary ticket banner right here. Now I know some people were hoping that we could use them for like the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito banners or the guaranteed LR ticket banner, but those are completely different tickets, which we'll get to, we'll talk about in a second. And the ones we have right now, the ones that are called fifth anniversary tickets are for this specific banner. Now popping down to the featured pool, as you can see, there are some very solid, you know, very good non Dokkan Fest exclusive units here. We got this, you know, amazing uh, support Gohan. We also have this Nail here who kicks a ton of ass when paired with a Piccolo. And uh, you guys know the Saiyan girls are phenomenal, especially with their Dokkan Awakenings. And uh, a couple of other really good supports, West Supreme Kai, uh, Int Mai and so on and so forth. So not a bad featured pool of units by any means, especially if you're a newer player, this could actually be a really good banner for you. But let's be honest, all right? The featured units are not the reason why people are excited for this banner. The reason people are really excited for this ticket banner is the unfeatured pool, which should, keyword should, include all of the summonable non Dokkan Fest LRs that are gonna be available to be summoned too, right? So we have you know, LR Androids, there's Tech Broly, uh, Kale and Khalifla, Goku and Frieza, LR GT Trio, and so on and so forth. And if things go according to plan, all right, if things go the way that they should, then LR Ultra Instinct Goku should also be in this pool. Obviously the rates to pull these guys is very, very low, all right? Because the unfeatured rate is gonna be your standard 5%, right? Let me check. Yes, normal rate, 5%. So 5% spread across all of these SSRs means that the actual rate to pull any one of them is extremely, extremely low, but there's always a chance. And I always see people during every anniversary pull mad fire on these ticket banners. So that could be you. And just the chance to potentially have that happen is kind of exciting. I mean, it's never really happened to me. I've never pulled an LR on a anniversary ticket banner, but I've seen it, so I know it's possible, right? So that is the ticket banner right there, and that is the first ticket, the fifth anniversary ticket. And uh, also, even though we got 55 through missions before the anniversary begins, we should be getting some more over the course of the anniversary, either through missions or logins, or possibly like top grossing or some kind of social media campaign. So overall, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody gets at least like over a hundred of these tickets once it's all said and done, maybe 150. I don't wanna say a specific number cause obviously I don't know, but it should be a lot, all right? So there should be a good amount of free summons through these tickets alone during the anniversary. Now next up, we've got the Dokkan Festival A ticket and Dokkan Festival B ticket which will be used for the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito banners, respectively. Now, I don't know for a fact that Gogeta is going to be A and Vegito is going to be B. It's just a feeling. It could be flipped, but either way, it doesn't really matter. These tickets are going to be for the Dokkan Fest LR banners. And if 
you guys have been through at least one other anniversary, like the four year last year or three year before that, then you should know exactly how these tickets work. But for my newer players out there, basically, you get these tickets by summoning on these banners with stones. And then you can use the tickets to summon on a ticket banner that's exactly the same as the stone banner. And they essentially are just free summons. JP never has had this. Like these tickets for these dual Dokkan Fest, especially ones as, you know, insanely hype as these ones, are basically the main benefit to being a global player. And uh, as much as people complain about, you know, Global Shaft and all that stuff, which I'm not gonna get too much into in this video, um, I think these tickets definitely make up for a lot of those things, you know? Anyways, uh, let's pop over to <laughs> the step ups from last year for the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and I do expect something very similar for this anniversary as well. I mean, at the very least, I don't expect it to be any worse, right? So it could be maybe even better, although it's kind of hard to be any better than this. As you can see, man, steps 1 to 3 were only 30 stones each, plus the free multi for step 4, so we're getting 4 multis for only 90 stones for both banners. I mean, you know, 90 stones per banner, but 4 multis for 90 stones, plus 3 tickets per multi for the stone ones, so that's 9 tickets in total. So almost another full multi right there. You're looking at almost 5 multis for 90 stones on each banner. That's insane, all right? If, if we got the exact same thing, this exact same format for this year, I would be so happy. Like, I'd be like, okay, that's good, man. You don't have to go any further than that. Like, this is perfect. So three tickets per multi, and then beyond that, it's gonna be regular 50 stone multis, but the fourth step is always free. So basically, you know, three multis for 50 stones each, a free multi, and then each multi also gives you three tickets for, you know, depending on which banner you're summoning on, right? So that's pretty much it guys. Those are the Dokkan Festival tickets. The ticket banners, like I said, are gonna be identical, exactly the same as the stone banners. So the Vegito one's gonna have LR Vegito, uh, AGL Gohan, who I'm still missing, as many of you guys know and continue to make fun of me for, and uh, also Zamasu, Trunks. Uh, this Boo, I'm really hoping, gets replaced. I mean, this is a bit of wishful thinking because generally speaking, they don't change anniversary banners. But if they wanted to, you know, break that trend this year, I'd be all for it and replace this guy for Cooler because obviously Cooler wasn't on the Fizz Beerus banner, even though he should have been. So just putting that out there, all right? I'm not expecting it. I'm just really hoping that somebody, some Bandai spy out there answers our prayers because I know you guys all want this. All right, there's not a single global player out there that would rather have the super boo over transforming cooler right so there's the boo and then we also have lr vegito from the three-year anniversary um uh, fizz with super vegito who i feel like gets kind of forgotten these days with the agl vegito's easy a but he's still very good and uh, texamasu and also of course fizz vegito blue who in my opinion is the best tur in the game with his Extreme Z Awakening. And back then, during the JP five year anniversary, this guy didn't have an easy A, so at that time he was like, you know, no, people weren't happy that he was featured. But now, if you don't have him rainbowed, pulling this guy is insane because he's just that busted, man. He's so good with his easy A. And then we have a Zamasu here who's mainly just, I guess, to raise the super attack of the AGL Zamasu. So that's the Vegito banner and the Gogeta ticket banner is gonna be identical once again to the stone banner, which means it's gonna have Gogeta, it's gonna have the Bardock here, it's gonna have LR Cell, it's gonna have uh, Fizz Beerus, sorry, Fizz Broly, uh, AGL Gogeta, LR Gogeta from the three year anniversary, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, Int Gogeta, and a couple of EZA units right here and also a couple of featured SRs. I actually never noticed that the Gogeta banner has three featured SRs and the Vegito banner only has one. That's kind of weird, huh? Anyways, those are the banners and those are the Dokkan festival tickets, which we will definitely get. I feel like there's gonna be some people out there that say, yo, you shouldn't be telling people that we're definitely gonna get these tickets because it's not even 100% confirmed yet, but this is one of those few times 
that I can say with 100% certainty that we will get these tickets for the Gogeta and Vegito banners. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? So those are tickets number two and three. Right, the first one was the fifth anniversary ticket. Now we have the Dokkan Fest A ticket and also Dokkan Fest B ticket. And the last ticket that I know for sure we're gonna be getting for the anniversary is this 55 unit multi guaranteed LR ticket. All right, so the way this is gonna work, and actually a lot of people thought that this ticket was actually uh, this ticket before, because in the news they said, you know, you can get up to 55 tickets. So they're like, oh, 55, it must be for, you know, like this thing right here. But, you know, the actual 55 unit multi ticket has a 55 on it, so that's why we can say definitively for sure that they're different, right? So this ticket, we're not gonna get until the anniversary begins. And uh, there are a total of 55 tickets to collect, which we can get through the course of like a couple of weeks, you know, through missions. And I don't remember exactly if there were like logins and stuff like that too, but it was like a bunch of different ways that JP players were able to get these tickets. And once we were able to get all 55, we can go over to this 55 unit ticket banner and uh, you essentially spend all 55 tickets at once and do this massive you know as the name implies 55 unit multi like it's just this huge multi that goes on forever and ever and ever until you get 55 units and the last unit in that multi is a guaranteed lr and i think all of the lrs in the game at that point were up for that slot i think i think i don't know if they excluded a few but we got tech broly here we got goku and frieza we got lr androids um go frieza yeah i don't feel like there were any lrs that were taken out but i could be wrong all right if you guys know about any you know uh summonable lrs that they removed from the pool specifically for this banner let me know in the comments down below and Maybe other people can see that as well, but I think all the Dokkan or non Dokkan Fest LRs were available on this banner too. So of course, even though the last unit was the guaranteed LR, the um, other slots could also be LRs, right? I've seen people pull like two, three, even four, five LRs on this multi, and it's a free multi, guys, all right? That is the key about these tickets. It's free. So they're giving you a free guaranteed LR for this anniversary. That is insane, man. Like, that's crazy. There is also a separate uh, stone banner that I believe costs, uh, I think it was 200 stones. It was 200 stones for 55 units that guaranteed LR. But if you didn't want to do that 55 unit, like 200 stone multi, you can save up your tickets and still get a guaranteed LR. I mean, I recommend people to do both, obviously. I feel like 200 stones for a guaranteed LR is definitely worth it, but that that's just me. And if you wanna save your stones and spend them on the Gogeta and Vegito banners, I can't really blame anybody, you know what I mean? So yeah, there you go, guys. Those are the four main tickets I wanted to talk about. The 55 unit guaranteed LR ticket, the Tokon Fest A, oh, hold on, actually, We'll get to that in a second. Dokkan Fest A, Dokkan Fest B tickets, and also the fifth anniversary ticket. Now, the last two you saw at the end are some potential like Pilafs Trove things, which could also um, be available during the anniversary. Now, of course, when it comes to JP, they never got anything like it because they don't have Pilafs Trove and they don't get tickets like this. But uh, there's a chance that we could get some packs in the Pilafs Trove that will give us um, the Dokkan Fest A and Dokkan Fest B tickets. Actually, I think that's pretty much a guarantee. But we could also be getting some premium tickets. And these ones are, generally speaking, a little bit more expensive. Like the packs cost a little bit more. But these tickets will guarantee you a featured unit. So obviously that means that your chances of pulling an LR or one of the other, you know, featured TURs that you want are much higher, right? So a much better rate. Um, so there could be premium A and B tickets or some other kind of ticket pack that you haven't thought of yet, but that's just a question mark. That's kind of up in the air because I don't really know uh, if it's going to happen, but it could. So I just wanted to quickly mention it in the video as well so that people, I guess, 
have it in mind. But anyways, that is today's video. That's all I really wanted to talk about. The first four tickets we mentioned are definitely coming for the five year anniversary. So now everybody knows what to expect and everybody knows what they mean. And that was pretty much the purpose of this video. And that concludes part one of my, I guess, five year prep series. I mean, I don't really come up with a legit name for it, so call it whatever you want, but that is the first video. We will be back either tomorrow or the day after with another one. If you guys have any specific topics or specific questions about the five year anniversary that you want me to address in an upcoming video, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.